In this video, we're doing unboxing, unpackaging of three new fragrances from Chris Collins, a former Ralph Lauren spokesperson. He has just launched three fragrances and they're available for sale now on chriscollins.com, but we're giving, gonna do first impressions of them and you're also gonna have a chance at winning one of three sample sets or discovery sets from the brand. They come in a little kit like this if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA. So we're gonna do all this coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And as I mentioned, this is Chris Collins uh, Fragrances. Uh, so it's the world of Chris Collins and that's the website. It's worldofchriscollins.com if you want to go check out the fragrances from Chris Collins. And Chris Collins, as I said, is or used to be a former Ralph Lauren spokesperson, model, all that good stuff. And he really loved fragrances and uh, wanted to launch his own fragrance line. Um, so with the help of a few people that he had met throughout his career, uh, some uh, in the perfume world, he has launched three fragrances after he went and lived in uh, the south of France in Grasse, the city of perfumes where, you know, uh, where the perfume industry started. And his three fragrances are Harlem Nights, Renaissance Man, and Don Sauvage. So there's three of them and uh, we're going to do first impressions of these. But first I want to show you how they come in. So this one right here is, let's see, we'll go with the first one. So Harlem Nights is this one right here. It's a cool looking box, 50 ml bottles, uh, 1.7 ounce, retail for $160. And then we have Renaissance Man here. Very simple boxes, but elegant and, you know, classy looking. And this is Don Sauvage. Chris Collins was inspired by Harlem. That's where he grew up. And a lot of these fragrances are inspired by that area of New York City. And so let's go ahead and get started. We'll do the first one, Harlem Nights. And actually, I got to meet Chris Collins recently. He was visiting San Francisco and uh, we met up and had a drink together and he uh, gave me these fragrances and uh, I was very interested in two of them. And I'm wondering if you can guess in this video to qualify at the end for the giveaway, which ones are my favorites, but I'm sure I'll hint at it to you while I'm smelling the fragrances. So stay tuned for that. But here it goes. Harlem Nights is here. This again is $160 for a 50 ml bottle and uh, it's EDP concentration. And for notes in Harlem Night, at the top you've got rum, clove, nutmeg. In the heart you've got jasmine, orris, patchouli. In the base you've got sandalwood, amber, and musk. All right, so the cellophane is off. Really lovely, it's kind of matte finish, dark and gold features detailing, as you can see. And so the, let's take the box. Uh, open the box and take out the bottle. So here is Harlem Nights. As you can see, it's simple, but classy, sophisticated looking, beautiful, very simple, like masculine detailing and uh, a very uh, unisex, I think, but more on the, leaning on the masculine side to me uh, upon my first sniffs. But let's go ahead and test this one again. This again, the notes sound awesome. And we're going to spray it on these beautiful cards. And the cards have the same feeling as what's on the cover of the box, which is kind of cool. And uh, I'm sure they're going to hold up the, the smell really lovely here. So let's go ahead and spray uh, Harlem Nights on here. Great sprayer, three sprays. So again, this is a spicy, boozy fragrance, my cup of tea. And it's gorgeous, actually. I can pick up the rum, very, very uh, easy to pick up the rum. And it's spicy at the top with that uh, rum note really awesome like as it starts really lovely and Harlem Nights I guess it was inspired by I'm assuming jazz the scene there um, and so you, you'd see you know you the, the rum would be consumed and it's spicy and all that good stuff so this totally makes sense for a fragrance and from first sniff I quite like it so um, it has become a little bit floral right now and patchouli is also kicking in but very gorgeous this is uh, this is really great. So uh, I'm not going to say if this is my favorite to you, so you'll uh, guess which one uh, my favorite is uh, uh, when we're doing the giveaway. But, all right, so the next one we're going to do is Renaissance Man. It's this one right here. This is the order that it is listed on chriscollins.com, the fragrances. So I wanted to go in that order because that's probably the, a reasoning for that. But 
it, you could do it in a different order if you were doing this video, but I just decided to do it in that order. So Renaissance Man, for notes here at the top, you've got marine accords, bergamot, ginger, in the heart you've got cinnamon, sage, honey, and in the base you've got tonka bean, tobacco, and leather. So this one actually also sounds pretty deep, but the only thing that concerns me is that marine accord at the top. So as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the marine notes, and I'm a little challenged with that note. So. All right, same uh, box, uh, very similar to the previous one, exactly identical except for the words, but um, this is uh, Renaissance Man, as I said, it's $160 for a 50 ml bottle, EDP concentration. You can buy these fragrances off of the Chris Collins website, chriscollins.com. Everything is really nicely, tightly fitting in here. Uh, so here is Renaissance Man. It's a darker juice compared to uh, the Harlem Nights. I almost think it would be the other way around, but I find this to be a lot deeper, but then again, we'll see. Maybe this one smells a little deeper too. So that is um, the other fragrance. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a strip and spray Renaissance Man. Three sprays again. All right, so immediately I'm picking up the marine notes with the ginger. It's fresh, but you know what? This is not one of those in your face, really kind of like a seaweed uh, marine kind of notes. It's very, very tolerable. So that's a good thing. Um, honey is kicking in with cinnamon. And I love honey and fragrances. Lately, I've been really, really loving honey and fragrances. And recently there was a launch of by Killian's uh, Gold Knight with a K. Absolute in love with that one. And here, the honey is just really beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the marine. Accord uh, normally I'm not but here. I'm totally fine with it because I'm starting to pick up the honey and it's actually gorgeous So it's kind of starting to uh, develop into the tobacco as well on the leather. So this is actually awesome uh, Even though I don't like those marine type notes. This is really really good the honey note with the tobacco and the leather actual actually gorgeous I, I can actually see myself wearing this one. So um, yeah, it's a good one. Renaissance Man. So that is number two. And that is the yellower juice right here. Yeah, I like this. To totally awesome. So let's go on to the next one. And the next one is Don Sauvage. It's right here. So Sauvage is wild. You've heard that name or word in many, many fragrances. Well, not many, but several like Sauvage from uh, Dior and of course Eau Sauvage basically means wild, and so this means um, wild dance, dance sauvage. And I think from what I remember, this is inspired by Josephine Baker, who used to, I guess, live in Harlem. And I'm a big fan of Josephine Baker. I'm dying to see a film about her life, because when I visit France, I actually visited the area where one of her, well, her one castle was in the um, Dordogne region in France. So I've uh, always been really curious about her and her life, so I'm looking forward to a movie, but this is actually inspired by uh, Josephine Baker, so that's quite unique. So let's go ahead and smell this one. Again, it's similar box, very tight in the boxes, so you gotta do a little pushing to open these up. They're very tightly packaged, which is quite cool. So going back to the clear juice again, actually this is the clearest out of all of them, I think. So, um, so this we'll do it this way. As you can see, uh, we've got Harlem Nights here, Renaissance Man, and Don Sauvage. So, yeah, I think Don Sauvage is probably the clearest of them all, but maybe it's it's identical. But anyway, let's go ahead and smell Don Sauvage. Anything to do with Josephine Baker? I'm there because I really like her as a uh, a person uh, and her life was very very interesting to me so three sprays so with this one uh, you've got cognac plum and saffron at the top in the heart you've got pepper chili and rose and you've got cedarwood vanilla and oud wow I can smell this one wow I like any boozy fragrances and one of the things I don't much talk about is um, cedar uh, I grew up in Lebanon as a kid. The cedar tree is like a prized tree. Um, it's actually on the flag of Lebanon. So 
I love the way cedar tree uh, smells. Cedar smells really, really beautiful. But fragrances tend to be dusty, unlike sandalwood, which I also like, tends to be creamy. So they're completely the opposite kind of uh, reaction in the fragrances. So here I'm getting a more dusty kind of a reaction. Uh, cognac at the top was big with the fruity plum. Uh, and then there was a little bit of a pepperiness and, and then a, a, like black pepper and of course even chili pepper. Uh, rose is kind of faint in this one, but cedar wood is pretty big. So cedar and vanilla and the cognac I think are kind of uh, what's uh, the dominating in this uh, in the notes in this fragrance. So quite lovely. I really like this one. That cedar is just gorgeous uh, with a fruity plum and uh, vanilla and um, yeah, really, really lovely. So these three are great. I can see why the chili and pepper are in here because, you know, they associate those with like, you know, um, I don't know, pepper kind of gets people going. So peppers and chili. So I think it's kind of uh, appropriate to use in a in a fragrance inspired by Josephine Baker, who's known for her dancing and all that kind of stuff. The wild dance, of course. So there you have it. Those are the three fragrances from Chris Collins, new brand that's just launching or just launched now. Uh, I'm, I'm sure in the future you'll see these at some retailers, but in the meantime, they are sold at um, the uh, website. The link will be in the info box, so you can go check them out there. The discovery set is also available at chriscollins.com and it's sold for $20. That's the discovery set you're going to win. It comes in a box like this. It'll be sealed like this. We have one of three prizes. And so the samples are in here uh, like this. So they're 1.5 mil samples. So you have a chance at winning and trying out fragrances from the new brand Chris Collins. So all you have to do is put a, in, uh, put a, a comment down below and let me know which one of these three fragrances you think are my favorites. So we did Harlem Nights, Renaissance Man, and Don Sauvage. So those are the three fragrances we sampled from Chris Collins. Let me know and also please put down why you want to win the samples and also please list your state as these are only available to be shipped to USA residents. The brand is not selling outside of the USA currently so that's why you don't qualify unfortunately. Stay tuned for uh, worldwide giveaways in the future though but at this time if you're not a subscriber of this channel from USA please do not participate. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on Chris Collins fragrances. Do you know the brand? Are you familiar with Chris Collins from his uh, spokes model, spokesperson uh, time at Ralph Lauren? Put down comments, let me know. What are your thoughts about the fragrances I just sampled in the notes? Do you like any of them? Do any of them interest you? Please put those down so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.